Hey guys, it's Ryan De La Garza. So I wanted to take some time to explore another way we can use just the Desmos graphing calculator to address concepts. So here we have a triangular prism and I want students to find the volume of that triangular prism. So we're going to see what does that look like in a Desmos graphing calculator. Um, well, we start with what formula am I going to use? I need the area of the base times the height and Desmos is going to tell me, oh, hey, we need a uh, area of the base and we need the height. So I can come and say, well, area of the base, what formula am I going to use? Well, since my base is a triangle, I'm going to use one half um, base times height. And again, I'm getting, well, I'm still missing some information. So if I come in here, I can say, well, my base is 13 that I can see there. Um, but what's my height? I have two numbers. So this is a great conversation to have with students. It's, there's actually two different heights. I have the height of the prism, and then I have the height of the base. And so they can come in here and label what do those heights look like. And now it's telling me, hey, if you want to find volume, you need to know the height of the base and the height of the prism. So if I come and say, well, I know the height of the base, if I'm talking about my triangle is going to be 13, as soon as I do that, I get my area of the base, my capital B fills in. So I now have that number. And now I can say the height of the prism is going to be 15. And now I can also see my volume. So not only are we mapping out all the individual pieces they need for a volume formula, but then we can come in here and even slide it and see what happens if I just change the height of my prism, what happens if I just change the base and all that kind of stuff. So this is just a super cool way for students to use just desmos.com the graphing calculator to kind of jump into and really explore the different elements of formulas like the volume formula